What is going on everyone and welcome back to another long awaited episode of myth busting. So just quickly before we get into the video, I want to state that going forward, we're going to be making a bunch of different myth busting videos and they won't just be for Sea of Thieves. So by that, I mean, I'm going to be testing myths in other games that aren't just Sea of Thieves. So if you want to suggest some games that you can see me bust some myths in, please go down to the comment section and post them in there. If not, you can either head to my Discord, my Instagram or my Twitter. All of those links are down in the description. But aside from that, if you want to suggest some Sea of Thieves myths, all you'll need to do is post them down in the comment section or on my Discord or give them to me on Twitter and Instagram. And if I do manage to choose your myth, you'll be featured in one of these videos. And also, if you want to watch me stream some games, what you can do is head down to my Twitch. That'll also be linked in the description. Once we get a thousand followers, we're going to be doing a special giveaway over there. Anyway, all of that being said, let's just get straight into the first myth. So the first myth of today's video comes from the user Minapuff, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't pronounce your name. Um, anyway, you can see it on the screen. But Min, I'm just gonna call him Min for the sake of this video, wants to know what happens when you harpoon a volcano rock while it's flying. So to test this myth, what we did is head straight for the devil's roar. Now, we didn't use a volcano that was close to an island. We used a volcano that was out in the water by itself. I don't really think we had a reason for doing it, it's just what we decided to do. And what we did is took turns in jumping on the harpoon. So first of all, my friend jumped on the harpoon and he tried to take down some of the big rocks. Unfortunately, it didn't go too well and he did end up dying. After that, I took over and attempted the exact same thing. And sadly, both attempts yielded the same result. As far as we know, it is not possible at all to harpoon any sort of rock that comes out of a volcano. Although, I really think they should add this feature into the game, because imagine how funny it would be seeing a ship fly up in the air through harpooning a meteor. Well, it's not really a meteor, it's more so a molten rock. But nevertheless, you can imagine what it's like seeing a flying ship go completely across the map. That would be amazing. Rare, please put it in. So in conclusion, sadly, nothing happens when you harpoon the rock because you just cannot connect to them. Next myth. Right, so moving on to the second myth of today's video. This comes from the user Christoph. And Christoph wants to know, I heard that if you shoot a skeleton ship with a barrel ball, they'll stop repairing for 20 seconds. So let's test it, shall we? So this myth was personally my favorite myth to test in literally ever. Now, it was extremely hard because the person I was playing with isn't the most competent with cannons. So trying to get him to shoot the ship with the ball while also having the gunpowder barrel in my hand so we could open up the holes was insanely hard. This whole clip here took probably 20 to 30 minutes to try and get. Now, the reason this is my favorite is not because of the result, it's just because of the insane setup that it took to actually get this clip. So I'm very proud of it. But anyway, enough about the footage. So a bit of backstory about how we went to testing this myth. So for testing this myth, I pretty much just swam over to a skeleton ship with a keg in my hand, then jumped on board. Once I got on board and got to the middle level, my friend ended up shooting them with the barrel ball. Now, sadly though, even with the curse on the skeleton ship's ship, they still managed to find a way to repair all the holes. So don't go using barrel balls as an effective way to take down ships, because in my experience, it doesn't really do anything aside from limiting a player's ability from looting anything inside the skeleton ship. So hopefully that does answer your question. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get on to the star of today's myth busting video. Now this myth comes from the user Goblin Face Graphics, and this got a ton of support, so there's no way that I couldn't have done it for a video. So Goblin Face wants to know something about mega keg placements. Essentially, he wants to know if you place a keg on top of the mission table inside the ship, will it be theoretically invincible? And this was a myth that I had to bring Moss along for. Actually, as it turns out, every single myth in today's video was done with Moss. Why do I torture myself for content? Anyway, so I got Moss involved in this myth. And this one was extremely easy to test. All I did was place a keg on the mission table inside the sloop, then ran over to the fort, got some cannibals, and shot the shit out of the ship. Now, at first, I was very skeptical about this myth, but I want to go out and say now that yes, no matter what keg you put on the mission table, it is going to be shielded from cannon shots. Now, that is not the same for sword slashes or bullets, because if you do get shot or stabbed, and that mega keg is in the firing line, that's going to go up. But if all that you're getting hit with is krakens, ships, or sharks, you are completely fine. I am honestly not even trolling right now. If you watch the video, you can see that nothing is happening. And if you don't believe me, just please go out and test this for yourself. It is the greatest thing ever. So I don't know if this is like a bug with the game or if this is how it was meant to be, but either way, this is freaking awesome. So officially for the first time ever, as far as I'm aware, We've publicized a way to have an invincible keg. <laughs> Don't know how good that is considering I have moss on my ship, but anyway. Actually, there's a good myth. If someone can work out a way to stop moss from blowing up kegs, that would be amazing. I'd love to test them on a video. But anyway, without getting too far sidetracked, thank you Goblin Face Graphics for that insane myth. 
and thank you for bringing light to a situation that I never knew was possible. But anyway, with all of that being said, if you guys have enjoyed today's video and it is your first time at the channel, what I suggest you do is go down and hit that subscribe button because I post a bunch of different gaming content that is mainly focused around Sea of Thieves. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please go down and leave a like to show your support. And if you're really inclined, okay, fine. Thank you for ruining my commentary. Anyway, if you're really inclined in showing your support, what you can do is join the channel because that directly helps me. Also, if you want to see me live stream, head down to the description and have a look at my Twitch. And if you want to get featured in any sort of videos and reach out to me outside of YouTube, what you can do is head down to the Discord and talk to me there. Also, if you want to find a crew, feel free. There's over 4,000 members in that Discord. I'm sure you'll find some friends. Anyway, thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.